Come on, Franklin, what the hell is this? We're gonna stick out like sore thumbs up here. Is this like the brightest car you could find? Man, I repoed this shit this morning. You wanna take one of your expensive ass cars, go right ahead. It's not gonna matter, cause we're gonna be driving that baby out of here. We're gonna jack those inbred hillbillies trailer. It's got about 600,000 worth of meth inside of there. Man, that liquor store is filled to the brim with armed hicks. The second we get close, they gonna open fire on us. Wait a second, Trevor, I thought you owned this liquor store. The O'Neill brothers took it over a few months back. No worries though, I'm gonna walk right up to them and shove a liquor bottle up their ass. I'm thinking banana schnapps. Oh, you must be one ugly Frank wearing a mask like that. That'll be $20, cash only. God damn, it's too hot for this mask. Oh, f Man, I should have stopped and got some snacks on the way here, bruh. Don't worry, friends, I'm coming. Jesus, Trevor! My B, that's my B. Oh God, we gotta lose these cops! Don't worry, I've got an idea. That was your idea? Damn it, let me drive! Ah. Franklin, will you grab the wheel from this maniac? Man, I could barely lift my driving arm. See, that's why I keep telling y'all we need a fourth crew member. Franklin is right, we need another body with us. Well, sh Michael, what do you want me to do? Put up a Craigslist post? Do a job interview? We're not just gonna run into some criminal degenerate with nothing going for him on the street. Man, I swear to God, this is the last time I'm getting locked up for some dumb sh- ah! Oops. Sorry, bud. Man, f*** y'all. You better throw me some money or I'm gonna report this sh Hey, f*** you, pal. Who the hell do you think you are? Can't you read? The name's Jay. Jay loves weed 69. Man, let's get out of here. We don't want any drama right in front of a police station. I'll go right back in there and tell them what happened unless you throw some blue faces my way. Can we pay you in meth? Uh, here's $200. Man, f*** your $200. Give me everything you got in that sh van. Hey, I like this guy. Jesus! You... you shot me. Get in here, big guy. I think we just found that new crew member you guys wanted. What the hell, Trevor? This guy's not a good fit for our crew. Come on, you guys said you wanted a fourth. Damn, whose house is this? This is nice as hell. Oh sh you got a heist room? Man, there's a ton of incriminating shit in here. And we just gonna let this idiot hang out? Yo, this is a nice ass laptop. I just bought a counterfeit cash company. You idiot! The feds are on that Wi-Fi! Y'all got any booze? I like to have a couple shots before any crimes I commit. Trevor, this guy is a total dumbass. Going into a heist with him is a suicide. Hey, I found some wine! And an astronaut suit, apparently. Well, on the positive side, his orange pants will come in handy. We're gonna need him to dress up as a prisoner for this next job. Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm Agent 14, but that's all I'm gonna say. I'm with Covert Operations, but that's none of your business. I run illegal guns all over the city. I've said too much. I think he's dead. All right, we need to get Maxim Rashkovsky out of prison. We gotta grab a prison bus. You're gonna dress up as a prison guard. This guy's gonna be our fake prisoner. You gotta intercept the real prison bus. I'll hook you up with a jerry can and some sticky bombs. You're gonna be flying the getaway plane. Now let's do this. Damn it, Franklin, do you have to bring Chop into every heist meeting? Chill, man, my aunt don't want him in the house no more. I think that thing's gonna explode. The missile or the dog? Oh, hell yeah, I call the Lamborghini. Come on, man, you gotta come with me. You're our fake prisoner. Your acting better be good. <clears throat> Hello, governor. El Hello, governor. Hello, governor. Mm. Los Santos International Airport. The security here is going to be tough. It's impenetrable. One of the most highly guarded. Oh, never mind. All right, sit down here and I'm going to handcuff you. Oh, hell no. Relax. They're not gonna be locked, but I do gotta get in character. Ah, screw you, criminal scum! Come on, where is this mother? Oh, here we go. Hey, bus boy, catch! Damn. You know what? Forget this. Oh, 
Oh, hell yeah. I'm about to be free. Sorry, man. I got to destroy the evidence. All right, I'm in the plane taking off. Prison team, how are we looking? Entering Bolenbroke Penitentiary as we speak. Afternoon, officer. I thought we were locking up more and more of these guys. Your bus is nearly empty. Hey, f you, pig. Yeah, f you. I mean, uh, carry on. Yo, you guys guarding this shop or what? Yeah, that's right. We're also guarding this here utility shack. We're definitely not hiding illegal chemicals for cooking meth inside of it. Damn it, Chip! Ah! Ereshkovsky should be somewhere in this prison yard. How's it going, buddy? Officer, to where are you transporting this prisoner? Ah! Yeah, that's right! I'm busting out of here! You're a fake prisoner, dumbass! Oh, oh that's right. Let's go, he's over here. Give me all your toilet wine. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. We're breaking you out. What the hell? I thought they'd send some professionals for a job like this. Uh, guys? Looks like we might got some federal friends with us. Oh, Don't worry, brother, I got you. Michael, get to Sandy Shores Airfield. We'll meet you there. Let's go, let's go. The Aiden Ross stream is starting. So, Kartovsky, you're like a spy or something? Kind of, but most of my money comes from pharmaceuticals. Hey, me too! Michael, hurry the f up! Get down! <laughs> Alright, everybody pays attention, nobody gets hurt! Open the door, you'll get worse than hurt! Just don't do anything! Ugh. Jeez, sorry. I don't know what that was all about. All right, we need to head west. We're gonna jump out of the plane right onto the beach where Franklin's waiting for us. Jump out of the plane? Okay, come on. Smooth landing, smooth landing. Oh God, I don't know if I can do this. Would you stop being so dramatic? It's way less risky than raw dogging those escorts in downtown Vinewood. Come on, man, you know all the throat goats work on Vespucci Boulevard. Ah! All right, Michael, you can do this. You're a college quarterback! Another successful job! Hey, where's that Russian guy? I'm leaving America! Thanks for all your help, guys! That better not be the dude who's supposed to be paying us. Speaking of pay, what kind of cut are we talking? 100k? 200? We could pay you in cash, or... This whole arcade, yours, you own it! I want the 100 cash. There's a heist room bunker in the basement. You can take jobs from down there. Maybe you're not hearing me? I want the cash! All right, an arcade is cool, but if I'm gonna be a criminal big shot, I've gotta do some heists or missions or something. I'm gonna drive up to Lamar's place. Maybe he's got a repo job or a race for me. Sorry, I'm gonna need this. Ah. All right, Lamar's shop is right up here. Yeah, buddy. I gotcha. Well, congratulations. <laughs> hey, f you, dude. I'm trying to complete a mission. Ooh, mission? Why did you say so? Here, take this. It's great for missions. What do you know about missions? I've done a ton. Check out my bank account. Holy sh! How do you have so much money? Uh, hey, do you want to buy a crappy arcade? I've got one I can sell you. An arcade, you say? I was told there's a heist bunker in here somewhere, but all I've been able to find are these two idiots, Loser and Barskank. Hi! F*** you, Jay. Barskank, Loser, this is... Uh, what did you say your name was? Payphone Glizzy. Right. Perfectly normal name. Uh-huh. Just as I thought. Hey, you're not gonna murder me down here, are you? We're friends, dude. I'd never murder you. Again. Excited to have you guys on board, but even more excited to clear out the casino vault. Lester? There's a lot of work to be done, but these guys are gonna help us. The Chinese? Hey, we didn't agree to do any business with the Chinese, Lester. Come on, we're gonna pull off the biggest robbery this city's ever seen. Hey, Shu, get, get out of here! Come on, we gotta get dripped out in some new clothes. 
I'm buying a car right now. No, dude! There's a ton of cars we can steal right here! My mechanic is dropping it off as we speak. Oh my god, it's hideous! You know, there's a ton of cheap motorcycle clubs and offices up for foreclosure. Or, or, brand new suit jacket from Ponsby's. Some pants might look nice. I'm sorry, sir, but you don't have enough money for the pants. Well, no money, but at least I look cool. All right, now to actual business. The only thing for free is this crappy motorcycle club, but it'll give us a chance to buy a meth lab or a document forgery office. What'd you say? Um, nothing. If we're gonna be in business together, it's important that I establish myself as the president of this motorcycle club and you, an associate. Associate? I've got more money and experience than you. Don't move. Oh God! Are you delivering cargo? Hand it over. Wait, this car is too ugly to be transporting cargo. Look, crazy lady, I'm just trying to get inside my motorcycle club. I don't have any money, but if you want to come inside, we can work together. All right, fine. But any missions we do, I want an 80%. <laughs> Boom! 12 games in a row. Let's go. This is bull crap. This motorcycle club is disgusting. It's just a dirty ass dive bar with cigarette butts all over the place. What are you talking about? It's got a sweet jukebox, half drink and whiskey bottles, and a dead Susan. How do you know her name is Susan? I don't know. She just looks like a Susan to me. You know what we need? Cocaine. Like, that would totally fit with the biker gang vibe. More than bikes? Bikes too. I'll hit the streets and steal some bikes. Great. Payphone, you work on getting the cocaine warehouse. And what are you going to be doing? Mm. See anything good on there? <clears throat> Nothing for less than a million dollars. You know, as the CEO, you should be doing at least an equal amount of work. Even Susan is busting her ass to help us out. Come on, come on, where are all the bikers? Looks like we got one. Ramrod, are you okay? You're gonna pay for this! What the hell? Yeah! Stabbed with a glass bottle, how's that feel? Uh, not bad actually. That was a really hardcore biker way to attack someone. I'll let your friend live. Well, we got one bike. I guess two if you count the oppressor. Hey, what you just did showed a lot of guts. Only a true motorcycle president could have done that. Here, I bought you this. <gasps> a cocaine warehouse! I got you a bike, too. Now, let's go check out our cocaine spot. Yeah, let's go! Wait, where's the bike? Ah, oh, goddammit. Alright, we got our own cocaine lockup. We're officially in business. We just gotta be careful. These operations can make a lot of money, but can cost even more. Profits are a very thin line. Thin line, you say? Hey, we're businessmen. None of that. We should probably go get some more supplies, though. Good call. Susan, you head out and steal some drugs. I'll keep an eye on the chicks and the blow. No way. I'm tired of doing all the dirty work while you guys get all the cash. Hmm. Tell you what. I'll shoot out a mass text to see if anyone else wants to help with the job. Now go steal me those supplies. Come on. <sighs> You can take the helicopter. And hey, look, we got another crew member right here. What's your name, Green Guy? You guessed it, it's Green Guy. Well, I hope you have experience with organized criminal drug cartels. I'll pay you five bucks an hour. I'm a doctor on my home planet. Good luck, pals. We need to find these cargo vans. We'll shoot the locks off and take the blow. You know, my UFO would have been a much faster vehicle. It can bend space time. Hey, I see a van next to that burger shop. Let's go. I've always wanted to try an Earth hamburger. Aw, oh, man. This isn't good at all. Anyways, like I said, ladies, uh, keep up all the great work. Hey, dude. It looks like we're down to our last $800. We can only afford to operate for another hour. What? How did you let us fall that deep in the hole? It costs money to run this Dude! Uh, excuse us, ladies. The truth is, every time we try to sell product, we get blown up by sweats. We lose money each time. And is that coke under your nose? What? No! How dare you accuse me of- Uh, excuse me, I'd like to buy some lumber, please. What? What? No, dude, we don't sell lumber. Well, what about the sign? There's no lumber. What about that lumber? Fine, yeah, whatever, just take it! For free? Get the f*** out of here!
There's a bunker we can get for free way up in the woods. We can sell weapons out of it, but if we get caught, we'd be looking at hard time. We'd be gambling with our lives. That's it! Gambling! To the casino! Aha! We're in business. You drive. I'll shoot. Hey! Hey! That alien is stealing my van! We did it! Mission accomplished. Also, these French fries are delicious! You don't have, like, a human costume you can put on in case we become wanted by the cops, do you? Those damn police only stereotyping my species! We got the cocaine. Great! Meet us at the Diamond Casino. We're pulling up now. <laughs> So, we all need to spin the wheel to try and win some money. Green guy, you're up first. Oh boy, clothing! Now those cops will never know I'm an alien. All right, Susan, you're next. Poker chips, I'm hitting the slot machines. Come on, big money, big money, no whammies. RP, are you serious? What the actual f Well, time for old phone to come through with a win spin. Holy $30,000! Phew, thank God. Now transfer that to my maze bank and we'll be able to keep all those pretty ladies working in my coke house. Hell no, dude. $30,000 is not enough to save that sham of a business. We're gonna go up and get that free bunker and we'll buy some weapons with the money. Payphone, if you don't hand over that $30,000 right now, you're fired as an associate forever. Oh, well, it would be a real shame if someone were to buy $30,000 worth of drinks. Actually, there's a $30,000 bottle. You wouldn't. Just go into that. Guys, please, stop fighting! We're gonna need a human doctor. All right, pretty sweet bunker. Can you believe it was free? There's an entire research lab, manufacturing... And a go-kart! Wow, look how far back this place goes. Damn it, are you serious? Oh, wow, there's a whole research lab back here. That's right. We're manufacturing brand new weapons using all sorts of cutting edge technology. Whoa, is that a Warstock half track 20 millimeter auto cannon? Wow, your friend is really smart. He's my associate, not friend. And I know a lot about weapons too. Alien guy, let me see your atomizer. Alien? No, my name is Greg. Greg Human. Check out this technology. Jeez, that thing moved the whole workbench. We've got a weaponized vehicle waiting for you outside to complete tasks with. Great, we should go pick up supplies. This thing is badass. We need to shoot down some helicopters. Then we can take whatever weapons they're transporting. Wait, wait a second. Do you guys hear that? All right, looks like it's just us. Yeah, all right. What the hell is this? You guys can't be partying down here. Hey, you don't own this beach. Hey, I do own this beach. I bought this place for free online. Now I'm afraid I'm gonna have to blow you guys' heads off. Would you relax, Nark? Nark, I'll have you know I own a cocaine factory. Uh, maybe I'll hit it, it just wants. <sighs> all right, hippies, you can chill here, but keep it covert, all right? I've got some very important business going on. Come on, dude, are you coming? Uh, I'm stoned. I I'm gonna go check out the vending machines. Uh, heads up, there are some bums partying on that beach down there. What? Hell no, we gotta kill them! They're gonna give away our location! Yeah, well, good luck with that. I'll kill them. No time! We gotta shoot down these helicopters to El Gordo Lighthouse! Well, that's not good. I thought it barely ever rained in this region of the Earth. We're way up north in the woods. Let's just get this over with. I call the gun. Okay, where the hell are these snack machines? What's up, nerds? Jeez, this bunker is bigger than I thought. Wait, didn't I come this way already? Oh, God, I'm lost in my own giant bunker! Nerds! Hippies! Help me! Oh, God! Giant mechanical birds! Those are helicopters. Oh, right! I knew that! There's weapons in one of them. We just gotta figure out which one. Susan, shoot all of them! Damn it, nothing! They're going too fast! They must be heading south for migration! Again, not birds! Don't worry, I know a shortcut! 
Maybe it's a little bit irresponsible to be shooting at helicopters. We aren't certain there's weapons inside. But what's inside these other helicopters? Don't worry, Husky Pops. We'll get you to the adoption center stat. Oh God, the humanity! All right, only two more. Hold on, we're gonna get some air. See, this is why gravity is no good. Uh, it's stuck. I'll call my mechanic. Maybe he can come out here. Shit, sorry. I can't get there at the moment. What the hell am I paying you for? Maybe Jake can come out and help us. Hey, yeah, where is that guy? I'm just saying disruption logistic needs HR. I almost sat on a live grenade yesterday. Who do I bring that up with? Well, we're screwed. Wait a sec. Green guy, you still have that atomizer gun? I'd rather get caught with it than without it. We did it! Susan, shoot down those last two helicopters. That one had weapons in it. Now we just gotta find out where it landed. What the hell? Rail guns? SMGs? Grenades? This party just got a lot more interesting. Hey, pal. We're gonna need those. Jesus! Another day at the office. Oh dang, I got shot. Where the hell is Jay? I busted my ass in deadly traffic to get here, being burnt alive by tryhards who were just camping outside our office building. Yeah, I had to go into passive mode just so I wouldn't be murdered. Chop, chop, guys. Money moves in the morning. Let's go. Oh, Mr. CEO, the last one to arrive to work. Yeah, well, it took me like half an hour to park the Akula. The Akula? You spent $3 million on a chopper to get you to work? Meanwhile, we're getting lit up over here. It's not just a chopper. It's a killing machine. Here, we'll take it to pick up our next shipment. We got to take a load of electronics to our warehouse in West Vinewood. Is it smart to keep all this cocaine and money on the floor? No. No, it's not. All right, come on. We got to pick up this vehicle full of cargo. To the helipad! Uh, hold on! You're really just going to park this thing right here? No time to park. Let's go! Let's get these electronics to the warehouse. Come on! I'm going to kill you! Oh, sh It's a setup! They're blocking the exits. Damn it, why did I park this here? Just run through it! It's a $3 million helicopter! My chopper! Damn, this warehouse is really filling up nice. Wow! Jewelry, medical supplies, animal materials. Look, it's not my business what the buyers want. Well, I guess technically that's exactly what my business is. Now we gotta sell some crates. There's a tugboat waiting for us at the port of Los Santos. Tugboat? I'm allergic to water! Will we get to murder people? Tell you what, come with me and you can each pick one thing out of a crate to keep. Cool! So now we just gotta drive the boat to our buyer and we're good. I'll keep an eye on this large diamond gemstone. Did you know its resale value is $135,000? Yeah, there's a lot of stolen art and counterfeit iPods in here. If the Coast Guard sees us, we're screwed. We're just not gonna call any attention to ourselves. Oh god, folks on jet skis! I can't hit this guy. There's a sailboat up ahead. That's our buyer. Ah, yes. My stolen paintings, med supplies, elephant horns, and Walkman CD players. Thank you, criminal merchants. No problem, French guy. Enjoy. Wait, wasn't there a bunch of jewelry we were supposed to sell too? No. Oh, sh The police were tailing us. I'm on it. Look at that. We survived the sale and made our customer a very happy person. Y'all feeling Froyo? I'm feeling Froyo. Man, I can't wait to get inside this nightclub. Are you sure it's smart to just be walking into a rival's club like this? Of course, dude, it's a party. Good vibes only. I'm gonna light up the dance floor. No, see, no, that's what we do not want to do. But we could use some deadly force to skip this line.
Man, that guy is tough. Welcome to Tony's Funhouse. That'll be $50. $50? You're lucky I plan on robbing people in here. Oh man, they got a live DJ! Thanks for coming out tonight. I crashed a bloody plane to get here. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Aw, oh, come on. We should get out of here before the cops show up. Hold on, I want to see something first. Wow, I didn't realize nightclubs were getting this type of money. A media stick? I wonder what's on it. Probably just a bunch of media. Gentlemen, and women, and alien, I think it's time we started our very own nightclub. This needs a lot of work. But once we staff it, get equipment, and do some promo, we'll have the hottest club in Los Santos. Staff it? Hell no. Green guy, you're the DJ. Susan, you're the bouncer. I'm giving you legal immunity to beat up or even kill people who break any rules in here. No, dude. We gotta do things the right way this time. The only way to have a successful nightclub is to put in the work. Me and Susan will take care of getting the equipment, and you two guys are gonna go around the city and put up some posters. Ugh, fine. Looks pretty good. You realize it's upside down, right? I can't read human words. Whoa, alien dude! You can't fool me. You're a famous celebrity promoting a movie. Let me guess, Tom Holland. Ooh. Hey, ten dollars for a pick with the alien or leave. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is not how you promote a club. You're right. We need to drop hundreds of paper flyers from a helicopter all over the city. That will really get people talking. That idiot just now gave me an idea. We need a celebrity. If we get someone famous to come to the club and post it on Snapmatic, it'll definitely get some attention. All right, we're gonna hop out and steal the show. Literally. Let's do it. Susan, this is a music festival. We're not gonna need a gun to take on these bums. Attention hippies, party's over. You may retire back to your drug tents. Oh, what the hell, man? Where are they taking this party? I don't know, but I'm going with it. Woohoo! Ah! Okay, movie star Poppy Mitchell just posted a snap of herself on Vespucci Beach. She's gotta be here somewhere. We just have to convince her to come to the nightclub and then we'll be in business. Are we allowed to be driving on the strand like this? Seems like somebody could get ran over easily. Hey, there she is! Now, it's important to remember she's had a tough time with substance abuse in the past. Right. We'll be sensitive not to bring up any- Hey, Poppy, you want some drugs? Let me guess, you want me to promote your nightclub? Eh, it's not really a nightclub yet. More like a dirty molly warehouse with an office in the back. Sounds like my kind of place. We're almost back at the nightclub. I can't wait to get the stage hooked up. Oh hey, the rest of our crew is behind us. Whoa, Payphone and Susan already got our equipment. The skull is badass. Reminds me of killing people. Oh yeah, the skull is the best part. Shoot, hold on, we gotta run this light. Oh God, the skull, it crushed the skull. Well, the last thing we need is a negative article about this linking back to our nightclub. I can make it look like an overdose. Ah, this is the life. A luxury apartment. We're finally rich. On the contrary, dude. This apartment was pricey. And it's pretty much just a heist room with a shower and a TV. Yeah, but Green Guy really likes the TV. Hey, I was watching that. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You now all have jobs at a startup. Jay loves weed industries. We're gonna be collecting narcotics for a big time distributor. Drug dealing. You can just say we're drug dealing. So we're gonna be robbing a weed farm or? Uh, I'm not sure. I gotta get the word from this creepy guy, Ron, who lives under the freeway. But I'm sure it's something cool like robbing a yacht full of frat dudes for their cocaine or something. What the hell, garbage men? Actually, garbage men make a good amount of money. I would know, I've robbed a ton of them. Look, let's just get this done. Oh, I gotta be in the back where it's stinky. 
All right, go grab that garbage and throw it in the back. Even though I'm on the back of this trash truck, I'm still the CEO. I'm not grabbing any garbage bags. Come on, dude. We need to deliver the Molly pills from the bag to Molly the pills? Man, you know, it's kind of cool doing normal, honest, non-illegal work for once. Yeah, there are illegal drugs in the bags, you know. Uh, heads up, guys. We've got company. Primal garbage men. No, no! There's a compactor in there! Phone! Get the pain pills out of this bag! They're not pain pills, they're Molly! Ooh, Earth Hamburger! We gotta get him to a hospital stat before he gets wasted! Looks like he's already some sort of wasted. He's fine, he's fine. Give him some trash to lay on. We need to make it to that warehouse under the freeway. I'm sure whatever troll hippie lives there will have some sort of remedy for an MDMA overdose. <laughs> This place looks like a disease factory. Well, worst case scenario, he dies here and nobody even sees him. I'm kidding! God, I'm kidding. Please. Hello? Homeless drug lord? Oh god! Were you guys followed here? Yep. This is pretty much the guy I expected to live under a bridge. Ah, yes! The Molly pills! Wait, is this all of them? Looks like there's a bag missing. Uh, well... Uh, what the hell is that? Is that the U.S. government? Drones? My associate here has a drug problem, and he popped a couple of your pills. Uh, Jay. So they're in his stomach, huh? Not a problem. I'm a recreational surgeon. Uh, Here it is, Felisa Bank. It's small, low security, and right on the highway for a perfect getaway. I've patched into their surveillance feed on my cell. Looks pretty mellow inside. Perfect time to go in there and shoot it up. Hell no, that'll get us killed. Right, right, we'll snipe the bank tellers from afar. No, no, shut up. We need to set up the heist. Green guy is getting our disguises ready as we speak. Payphone, I need you to hack into the circuit breaker to take care of the vault door. I can't believe how easy hacking is these days. It's like playing a mobile game for kindergartners. Good news, everyone! I've got us all heist outfits to wear! Check out these masks! Oh, this is badass! Hey, I look like I'm an ugly freak! I see no difference. The classic killer hockey mask for me! Wait, what about me? This should do just fine. Before we get all suited up and run into the bank guns a blazing, oh. we're gonna need an armored vehicle. All we have is this ugly free car. Excuse me, this is an ugly, expensive car. If we want an armored car, we're just gonna have to be like every other honest, hardworking citizen and steal one. So I don't get it. We're just hoping to find an armored car parked in this lot. We're gonna hotwire it. If I know anything about public parking lots in Los Santos, it's that at the top of them, there's always a Korean gang hanging out. There's gotta be a Karuma or something we can take. Wait, a gang? I thought maybe we'd just jack one from an old lady driving down the street. Oh yeah, dude. Tons of grannies are driving around in armored vehicles. Granny gotta stay strapped. There they are. Uh, let's drive in circles, running them over and shooting them. Oh, come on! You kids these days just want to shoot at things blindly, scared to even kill. If you really want to get the job done, you've got to walk down on them. Jeez, Susan's a freaking gangster! All right, let's just go out there and smoke them! Don't forget your mask! So I had my gun in his face, and he said, I love Korean barbecue, but I don't want any beef! <laughs> Go, let's go, get in. Dude, let me drive. No way, man, this car is sweet. Every time you're in charge, you mess it up somehow. Would you shut up? Now, I always get lost in these lots. The exit's this way. Oh, you're dead now. Wow, the bulletproof glass really seems to be working. Hell yeah, we've got the armored car. Tomorrow we hit the bank. Everybody be sure to get a good rest. Oh, actually, that reminds me, I need you to stay up and work on an electromagnet. What? We're gonna need to attach it to our cargo bob for our getaway. Building an electromagnet is gonna take me weeks. Actually, with my alien technology, it can be put together in a few seconds. Eh, I'd rather just have Payphone do it. Part of being an associate, buddy. Okay, I got the magnet working. Great, now just attach it to the cargo bob and we'll be good to go. What cargo bob? I told you last night, I need you to infiltrate Fort Secundo and steal a cargo bob. Are you serious? Marching into a military base like that is a death sentence. Figure it out, dude. I gotta get my heist clothes on. <laughs> 
Thank you for banking with us today. Is there anything else I can help you with? Everybody down on the ground! This is not a drill! This is a drill. Where's the safe? What the hell? I thought I told Payphone to hack the door. That lazy bum. <sighs> not a problem. I can do it. You know, we do have the drill. 167, 167, where is it? They're in numerical order, dumb- Aha! Wait, it's just another box? There are bonds inside of Wait, it. Wait, so it's not big bags of cash? That would have looked so much cooler. Come on, let's get out of here. We did it! Now we just gotta make it to the bridge where Payphone will grab us. Wow, the electromagnet works great! Thanks, pal. <sighs> All right, the contact should be here any minute. Payphone, green guy, you two take a high up position to keep watch. Remind me exactly what we're receiving from these guys. Access codes to a chemical lab. We're gonna steal their data and plant an EMP inside to shut down the lab completely. Oh sh here they come. Access codes. That's right. Just give me a moment to confirm. So you guys are the ones who did the bank job, huh? You're getting into some pretty deep stuff with these codes. Nerve agents, chemical weapons, Okay, we got the go-ahead. FIB, freeze! Uh, need coverage, snipers, where are you? I got him. I'm way higher. A great vantage point for... Oh, damn it! Stupid pigeon! Let's go, let's go! We gotta get to El Puerto Boulevard in the Port of Los Santos. Oh, man, who knows where they could be going? An ocean car! They're called boats. We need to borrow something from the Navy. An EMP. The EMP is on a plane. The plane is on a boat. And the boat is in the ocean. Wow, this is a sick aircraft carrier. This is what we need. Focus! We need to get to the top of the aircraft and find the plane with the EMP in it. <laughs> Can't get me! The flight deck is up here! Which one of these weird human UFOs is the one with the EMP inside? This one, the Hydra. It only fits one. All right, I'll meet you guys on shore. Bye! What an asshole. Let's get out of here, you idiots! What the hell? Hold on, friend! Ah! I'm getting riddled with bullets! Don't worry, we're almost out of range from the aircraft carrier. Oh god, fighter jets! All right! Yeah, that went perfect! Uh... Now come on, help me get the EMP out of here. Careful, careful! Damn, when did we get this? <laughs> let's just say it was a gift from our friends at Merriweather. Now let's go drop off this EMP at the lab and fry the place! We need to park this bad boy in the lab, but yeah, there's security everywhere. I've hacked the cameras. We only need to kill the guards that are in the way. But we can kill them all if we want, right? I can't believe we developed a chemical that can cure cancer! And we're the only two people who know about it! Alright, I'm gonna go drive the car into the lab, bye! I'm at the garage, but it's locked! I can hack it! Just sit tight one second! I got it, I got it! I mean, it's just like Tetris, right? Uh-oh. Did you get the EMP off? I, uh... I might have set the EMP off. Whoa! All the power in Los Santos is out! What are you doing, dude? Go steal the data and get out of there! He's gonna need help. Let's grab the helicopter. Oh god, where is the lab? Where is the lab? Don't worry. I'm coming, buddy! Oh god, it's pitch black in here! Aha! The lab! Hey, phone, I need you here for these key cards! Ah! Wait, I heard that scream. I'm right around the corner! Now let's download the data and get out of here. It's gonna be impossible to get out of here. You'd be lost even if it wasn't pitch black. Well, this might be our only way out. I hope you can swim. A chemical cooling tower? Uh, I'm gonna come out the other end with a 30 or something, aren't I? Oh God, you guys smell like sh well, I'm sorry, Susan. We just swam through a sewage tunnel of toxic waste. <laughs> Laugh track. <laughs> Play the baseline. Get me out of this episode!
Remind me again why we're going all the way to La Puerta. To pick up drugs. Some Azteca gang members are gonna meet us there, hand their product off to us, and then we'll take it to their buyer. Why aren't they taking it to the buyer themselves? I don't know. Are the Aztecas paying us or is the buyer? I don't know. What do the Aztecas get out of this? Do we have to give them a cut of our money? Look, I don't know, okay? It didn't say any of that on the piece of paper I saw taped to the wall at the biker gang warehouse. We're all gonna die. I always knew it'd be Jay who walked us into a death trap. Same. I'd say he was the most likely with Payphone in second place. Hey! Well, at least I wouldn't have led you to die in a rusty scrapyard. Who the hell wants to die surrounded by twisted metal and... Whoa! A rusted out Enos Jubilee? How did this end up here? I wonder if the motor still works. That'd be so cool! Well, this is interesting. With these parts, I might be able to assemble a vehicle, melding Earthling and alien technology. Through complete guesswork, that is, for I am not an alien. Guys, we have to focus. Jay's right. We have to keep our heads on a swivel instead of being distracted by- Oh my god, is that a fucking tank? Whoa! Does it still work? What does the inside look like? How does it taste? Lick the outside! Fine! If you want to get crushed or get tetanus from a rusty tank, that's your decision. I'm choosing to do the responsible thing and pick up drugs from murderous gang members. Ah, there they are. <clears throat> Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm here to pick up your controlled substances so that I may bring them to an equally seedy party. Oh no. You guys, the cops showed up and the gang members ran away! Uh, that's great, Jay. Uh, hey guys, do you think we can get this working? Hop inside and try to steer it while I push. Wait, are you strong enough to push a tank all by yourself? Is that unusual? You guys, the product is still here and the cops didn't arrest the gang members. I think this might have been a sting operation. I want to point the big gun. I saw the tank first. Why don't you go play with your weenus jubilee? It's an enus jubilee. And you know that. You guys, I think I'm, I think I'm going to die here. And now I'm realizing the police shot at me first, so I don't even really deserve this. Hey, guys, check it out. Pistol tank! Pistol tank! Pistol tank! Oh, sh**. The cops are really taking it to Jay over there. Oh, yeah. Right. Sure, I guess. We, we should, should probably, probably do something. something. Great job, people. We had a civilian say he was interested in bringing drugs from one person to another, so we shot over 900,000 taxpayer dollars worth of ammunition at him. And now to bring him in for questioning. <laughs> Holy cow, the gun still works! Let's take it to him, boys! Actually, gender is an indefinite attribute to the beings on my planet. Um, which is Earth. Wow! That's, that, that's so progressive. I'm really glad you said that. It's a worthy conversation to have. Pistol tank! Pistol tank! Pistol tank! Thanks for saving my life back there, you guys. It's whatever. Really, we were just stoked to use that big friggin' tank gun. Saving you was an added bonus. I wouldn't quite put it that way. All right, well, regardless, we've got the drugs, and we're here at the buyer's RV in the middle of the desert. Okay, what is this, Breaking Bad? That's a fictional TV show, Jay. Lots of people like to live off the grid in an RV in the desert. Thanks for bringing the product over. Here's a little something for your troubles. Okay, hang on. This is exactly like Breaking Bad. Except in Breaking Bad, they make the drugs themselves and sell them. Are you buying drugs from the Aztecas and telling other people you made them yourself? Uh -huh. And do you have a partner who's a former student of yours who you don't get along with, but kind of get along with, and then manipulate him to do what you want? Uh -huh. Haha! <laughs> and does your partner not know much about chemistry, but knows about the mean streets of the drug business and say the word bitch a lot? I must say, I was not expecting that. I thought I told you to stay out of sight. Well, gang, thanks again for coming with me on this wild, marginally profitable journey. And thank you, Pistol Tank, for protecting us and bringing us here. It was my pleasure. And remember, always believe in yourself. How are we supposed to get back to the city? I cannot believe we blew our entire budget for the counterfeit factory! Most of it on one idiotic hand of poker. Guys, I'm telling you, a straight beats a flush. Then why did the dealer take all our chips, Jay? Obviously because he was jealous of my swagger. And my dopeness. 
When I get a hold of his manager, it is over for him. I don't know what's worse, the fact that we lost the factory's budget or the fact that we also gambled away all the counterfeit cash we made last week. The counterfeit cash, definitely. I've been eating it for weeks. It's the only thing on earth that can properly sustain my totally not an alien body. Excuse me? Ah! Silver Sable! Call Spider-Man. I'm not Silver Sable. I have got to get a new haircut. My name is Agatha Baker. I am the general manager of the Diamond Casino and Resort. Fantastic! Ma'am, I have a plethora of complaints about one of your poker dealers. Or... Do not get us into any more trouble or I will pull the pin. Do it, Jay. That woman is crazy. I saw her actually eat shrimp from the casino buffet. I wanted to see if you'd be interested in a business proposition for the casino. I couldn't help but notice that the four of you seem particularly desperate and particularly violent. Wow, I feel so seen. I'd like to introduce you to the owner of the diamond, Tao Cheng, and his Chinese translator, whose name I've never cared to learn. Please to make your acquaintance. Whoa, what language was that? Those are just aggressive screams. Mr. Chen has been using a new personal trainer. He has been loading him up with bull shark testosterone pills. Add methamphetamine. And carrot juice. Yo, it's a doozy. You gotta watch out for carrot juice. Mr. Chang has agreed to a meeting with the Duggins, a family of Texans who obtained their vast wealth through less than legal means. Then why take the meeting? The Duggins wish to buy our casino, but Mr. Chang has no intention to sell. Then why take the meeting? And they have asked to meet on their turf, making the possibility of an ambush a near certainty. Then, then why, why take, take the, the meeting? meeting? Mr. Chang has requested you come with him and is willing to give you half the money you lost today as compensation. Couldn't we at least have taken more than one car? <laughs> Mr. Chen says he prefers us all to go as one. A better sign of strength. Say, speaking of strength, what can you tell me about those bull shark testosterone pills? Jay! What? I've been looking to bulk up a little. Ah! Mr. Chen says one pill makes you feel as though thousands of lightning bolts are coursing through your body. Which is why he takes them ten at a time. Hey, I know exactly what he's talking about. Ah! That was just a scream. So, um, I mean, can we score some of those pills then? You know, just to help prep for the meeting? Yeah, yeah for the meeting. Please. Please. Oh, please! No, no, no! He says yes. All right, so once Chang and his friends show up, we tell him we want to buy his casino. Darn tootin'! And once he says no, we tell him we ain't taking no for an answer. Darn tootin'! And once he gets angry, we start shooting like he's a rascally rabbit. Oh, I sure hate them varmints! Oh. <laughs> It's a dang shooting gallery! We need reinforcements, quick! Ah! Wait, who now? Ah! Strike beats a flush in poker! A strike beats a flush in poker! Wow. Let's see you handle this, you damn Yankee! What in tarnation? Ah! Excellent throw, sir. No, please! I'll give you anything! I'll pan gold for you! I'll make you the rootinest tootinest! I am Papo, God of Death! You should have stayed in New Austin, partner! I've never felt so alive! I've never felt so hungover. Well, I can't say that didn't go as unexpected. I have no idea what you mean by that. Yeah, was that a triple negative? No matter. The Duggins have actually fled the state. So as promised, here is half of the money you gambled away yesterday. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, at least we got some of our money back. Yeah! Hey, wait! He can't spend this! It's our counterfeit money! Fantastic! I'm starving! 